A delicate balancing act underway right now in Florida school districts. The aim is to maintain classroom size standards put in place more than a decade ago, but do so with available resources. As SNN local news reporter Jim Spiewak shows us, the balancing act has led to some creative solutions here on the Sun Coast. Well, in 2002, citizens approved an amendment to the Florida Constitution that put limits on the number of students in classes like science, math, and English. And now, 10 years later, school districts are still trying to juggle maintaining those standards while at the same time experiencing increased enrollment. Philippi Shores Elementary saw such an unexpected rise in registrations and students just show up on the first day, the school was forced to, in some cases, double the classroom size, which is a cause for concern to parents and school administrators. The school in total went up uh, a little over 80 students. When the school notifies us that they're going over, we authorize them to create another class. A Florida class size reduction amendment aimed at keeping class sizes in order allows only 18 students in one classroom per teacher. Philippi Shores had nearly 30 with two teachers, which is in compliance with the state amendment. We can do what they call co-teaching, which is whereby we put two teachers in the room and then you can uh, basically double the number of students, but both teachers are, are teaching. The school has since added five new teachers to keep up with the student demand and is co-teaching in three classrooms. We've had a f uh, change of students leaving, or people seem to be leaving the Northport area and coming up to Sarasota. If more students enroll, more teachers are needed. But if the number of excess students doesn't warrant an entire new class, the district is left in a tough situation. Hire another teacher or breach the class size amendment, making the teacher-student ratio in every school a delicate equation to solve. We don't want to deny a child or a student uh, the right to get their needed credits. So we have had some cases where we've been over, but it's been very, very, very little. Every public school across the state is monitored in October for compliance of the amendment. Violations can result in thousands of dollars in fines. And to help facilitate the changes, the Florida legislature approved more than $19 billion towards operational expenses and $2.5 billion towards facility funding to help implement the Florida class size amendment. Reporting in Sarasota, Jim Spiewak, SNN Local News. Now, of that money, $45 million goes to the Sarasota School District to help subsidize teacher pay. 